Okay, this video is, is it safe to eat pasta? And I'm gonna be talking here about a lot of stuff from Lead Safe Mama. Lead Safe Mama, I did some videos about her recently. She's the one who made that documentary, Misled. Two of her kids were uh, had lead poisoning when contractors repainted their house and they sanded off the old paint. This is Lead Safe Mama. And she's obviously kind of fat, so she doesn't know nutrition, but she devoted her life to testing food for lead and other heavy metals after two of her children were uh, had serious permanent brain damage from lead poisoning, okay? Um, I just want to give you some perspective on here. This is one where I don't have all everything figured out yet. Um, first of all, she tested Lumberg Farms basmati rice. I realize this is not pasta, but I'm trying to give this as a relative comparison for perspective. So the basmati white rice, organic Lumberg Farms from California, California white rice, had a cadmium in nine parts per billion, um, and it also had an arsenic of 89. There was no detectable lead, no detectable mercury. Um, I've been eating tons of rice for many, many years. I'd say the last 20 years, I've probably eaten rice about four or five times a week. So, you know, McDougal said he never saw anybody with arsenic toxicity. Um, I also would ask myself, you know, arsenic can inhibit several different enzymes related to um, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and the uh, and mitochondria. So um, I test my exercise capacity. I, I have to go up 10 flights of stairs every day, and I always go pretty fast. I see how fast I go with my backpack. I see how fast I go um, when I you know, don't have to carry anything. I also have to do a bunch of stairs in other locations, like at my apartment and stuff. So I always challenge myself to go fast. And the reason I do that is number one, I want to stay fit. Number two, I want to see if there's any problem. If there was some problem with my food whereby I was experiencing mitochondrial inhibition, I would expect my energy level to drop and it hasn't. My energy level is great. So that's reassuring. Um, also, mitochondria undergo something called mitochondrial biogenesis. What that means is if you exercise, your body will make more mitochondria, especially if you push yourself, challenge yourself with high intensity interval training. When I do push ups, for example, or curls, I, I go to the, my limit to failure. So my body is like encouraged to make more mitochondria in my muscles, for example. So, anyways, what I'm trying to say is I don't think you can completely escape from this cadmium or this arsenic and even small amounts of lead and mercury, but you do the best you can. And I wanted to show a comparative product of even Lundberg Farms, considered one of the best types of rice, even that one has some arsenic. So they consider the safety level 10 parts per billion and had 89 parts per billion. That's per billion, not million, per billion. Okay, so anyways, uh, you might want to watch this, this talk again, uh, Tamara Rubin, Vegan Society. I think she's legitimate so far. I haven't seen anything dishonest about her. I haven't seen a secondary gain about her. You know, uh, I thought her documentary on lead was really good. So, so far, I'm, I'm a believer in what she's doing. Uh, let me show you another book that I really like. I really like this book called uh, Food Forensics by this guy, Mike Adams. Um, I had read the book cover to cover several times and listened to the audiobook of it. Now, in the process, you know, I got divorced. I move. I'm in this apartment, and my library is real small now compared to what it was, but it's still chaotic, and I can't find this book. I know I would have kept this book, but I can't find it. That's why otherwise I would have looked stuff up in there. Okay, now we're going to get into Lead Safe Mama's data. Okay, so here she first of all tested some wheat flour. This is uh, organic wheat flour, unbleached, and it was high in cadmium. In her lecture, she said most of the pastas were high in cadmium, especially if they have to use a machine to push it into a specific formed shape. So pretty low cadmium, no detectable lead, so that's good. The impression I'm getting from my limited knowledge of all this so far is that lead is more difficult and irreversible. Cadmium, yeah, you don't want any of this stuff. Arsenic, you don't want any of this stuff, but lead and mercury are worse poisons. They're more brain poisons, as far as I can tell at this point in my study. I, I certainly got more to learn about this. You know, I wish I had more time to read. I wish somebody would subsidize me so I could really do research and study all day long every day. Instead of right now, I'm working full time as a doctor. I can only do this when I get free time, which isn't that much free time. Um, and I can usually only focus on one thing. I'm interested in the kidney right now. Okay, so anyways, here's another pasta. This one's called Elbows, and this is made out of Durham wheat. Um, this one also came up a little high in cadmium, 15 parts per billion, no lead. 
um, and was okay as far as the criteria for arsenic. You're going to see a pattern as this goes on, and the pattern you're going to see is the cadmium is a little bit high in all of them. Okay, but some of them also are high in lead. This one comes from Bolivia. This is quinoa, 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 however you say it. And most people tell me you're supposed to say quinoa. Okay, so anyways, cadmium, it's high in cadmium, but I don't like this, high in lead, so I would never eat that. Um, and it's also a bit high in arsenic, higher than the rice was. A lot of foods are higher in arsenic than rice is. We just don't hear about them. Everybody loves to throw dirt on rice because it's a pretty good food. Okay, um, here is uh, macaroni and cheddar cheese from Annie's, the company. And in this company, cadmium, again, is high. Uh, the noodles are slightly formed there, it looks like. Cadmium is 28. But, you know, luckily there's no lead, mercury, or arsenic. So that she's tested thousands of brands of different foods. So if there's some food you like eating a lot or somebody in your family eats a lot, you can just go to her YouTube, her website. Her website is called TamaraRubin.com. That's her name, TamaraRubin.com. Uh, I guess she probably also has another website called LeadSafeMama.com. That's her moniker or nickname, if you will. Okay, but this one is from brown rice, and this has uh, uh, cadmium-34. Brown rice has higher, um, well, actually, brown rice has higher arsenic than white rice because when you remove the bran, the outer part, you polish it, you lower the arsenic a lot. Uh, but it still, you know, again, has, uh, these are formed noodles like little corkscrews, and it has um, elevated cadmium. What I don't like about this one is it also has elevated uh, lead. So it's called gluten-free, but gluten-free does not mean healthy. Okay. Here's another uh, pasta. This one, I think, came from cassava. And basically, she said it in her lecture, you shouldn't eat anything with cassava because cassava tends to be contaminated with lead. Look at this lead. This is pretty high lead, so I would never eat that. I'm not, I didn't even really know what cassava was, so, but I would not eat anything with cassava. So anyways, that concludes... Uh, the lecture. So where am I at on pasta? I'll still eat pasta. You know, I don't, I don't go out of my way to eat it. My girlfriend likes to cook it for me. She likes it. Um, so I do get an organic, single ingredient only type of pasta. Um, and I don't make a habit out of it. And I eat a real minimum uh, single serving of it. I like it because it mixes well with beans. Um, so anyways, that's where it's at. As I learn more, I'll let you know. I need to compare a whole bunch of things and develop a bigger perspective on this and read more on all this stuff. I did give a previous video about cadmium. Uh, but anyways, that's where it's it for now. Uh, so the bottom line is, yes, I still eat pasta, but I certainly would avoid anyone with cassava in it or anyone that Lead Safe Mama said was especially bad.